making sure that I keep my hands off my face really helps because you have dirt. You're touching everything. You're touching doorknobs. People sneeze in their hand and they're touching this doorknob and you're then putting it on your face. Let's think about this. <laughs> you know, so like just keep your hands off your face. Make sure that you're washing your, your hands often. But I put myself on cruise control. and shout out to my kings too welcome back to nabila rain and welcome if you're new here be sure to click the red button below and subscribe if you're not already subscribed and hit the bell to make sure that you're notified whenever i post a new video all right so let's get straight into it today's video is going to be about tips on how to get clear skin so my skin let's give a little background on my skin my skin is relatively dry most times so i use a lot of products that are very moisturizing be sure to check out my skincare routine and the products that i use for my face i'll link it up here or up here i don't know where that little eye is gonna be but go ahead and look for it so the first tip that i have is i know if you're like watching the chain of these videos you know that this is the first thing that most people will say is to drink water drink drink water yes y'all okay <laughs> I always have my water bottle here with me. The amount of water that you should be drinking is half of your body weight in ounces. So, I personally drink around 64 ounces because I weigh around 128 pounds, something like that. So, this here is 30 ounces. I'm sure to drink two of these a day with a little on top. Let me take a sip right now. Refreshing. <laughs> And you can see that I have lemons in here. So like just throwing in like fruit and stuff to flavor your water really helps because it just makes it a little more fun and it makes it easier to drink. So that's a little tip that I have for y'all. Just to let y'all know, dehydration causes breakouts. And the reason that it causes breakouts is because your skin is gonna be very dry. So oils are gonna continue to produce to, um, you know, to compensate. So it overcompensates for how much oil that you actually need and then your pores start to get very clogged and then that's when your pimples pop up. So drink your water. Number two, be sure to exercise. Make sure that you're exercising at least 15 minutes a day. I know that can be really difficult for a working person or for a college student, but 15 minutes really isn't a lot. So you know what I do is like, I love to eat. So whenever I have food, I like the microwave or whatever, I go ahead and just do some squats. While the microwave is running, you're not doing anything anyway. Do some squats. My friend Nache, she, you know, she put me on to that. Or like when you're watching TV or something like that, just go ahead and do some squats or do some sit-ups. You know, just do do something. You're sitting there doing nothing. It only takes 15 minutes a day. So, or you can like break it up throughout the week. That's what I do usually is break it up throughout the week. And I will go, if I'm at school, I will go to the gym maybe about three times a week. And that helps me a lot because I feel very energized and just awake. And I can feel a difference in my skin, to be honest. Exercising reduces stress and acne. So make sure that y'all get your exercise in every week. Right. Number three, be sure to eat right. Well, exercising goes eating right. So you can't say like you're exercising three days a week or whatever. And then you're eating cheesesteaks and, and chicken fingers and stuff. I'm talking about City Grill. <laughs> At school, we have this place called City Grill. And that's literally all they sell is fried food. So, like, just getting stuff that's, like, actually good for your body. So, going over to Solid Works, getting a solid and getting some fruit and stuff like that, that will definitely help your skin be much more clear. And you won't have all of the, the bad oil in your skin and... Ugh. number four make sure that you are consistent consistent in every way be consistent in your routine don't go to sleep with makeup on every night make sure that you get up no matter what you're doing don't fall asleep without washing your face get to the bathroom go brush your teeth and go wash your face because that is what's good for you and that's going to make sure that your skin is clear and your skin will get used to that and it will continue to be clear. So be consistent and be consistent in what you eat. Be consistent in exercising. Consistency is key. Okay? <laughs> All right. So my camera is about to die. So chop, chop, chop. <laughs> Number five, be sure to clean your makeup brushes often. I have a problem with this because I'm just a really lazy person. <laughs> so I don't clean them as often as I should. But definitely 
as, your, as you see that your brushes are getting dirty, be sure to clean them very often so that it doesn't, the dirt in them doesn't clog your pores and all the old makeup and stuff. Ugh, even just thinking about it, y'all see my face? <laughs> clean your brushes. Number six, be sure to read the ingredients on the back of your products so that you know what you're putting on your face. I personally like to use products that are, you know, more to the natural side. Like I use black soap and witch hazel and things like that. So, and I use a lot of oils and stuff. So just be sure that you're reading the back of your products. A lot of stuff can say that it has, um, like, it can say that it has like coconut oils, like on the, hold on, let me grab something. For instance, um, this is not for your skin. <laughs> this is for your hair, but this is just an example. So on here it says it contains genuine coconut oil and castor oil, and this is like is a pressing oil that you just put on your scalp. But let's go to the back to the ingredients and see what it says. Like, so the first ingredient will tell you what's mainly in there. And the first ingredient on this thing is petroleum. Petroleum is Vaseline. You don't need to put Vaseline on your scalp because it's going to clog your scalp. So the second ingredient is coconut oil. The third ingredient is castor oil. So it does have those things in it. However, the first thing in it is not what the, it says on the container. So be sure to read the container. Number seven. So be sure to use products with SPF in them. Um, it prevents dark marks and it prevents wrinkles. So that really does help you in the long run. Um, I personally am allergic to SPF. I'm going to tell you all a little story time. So in high school, <laughs> I was into like just I like trying new things. So in high school, I was like, okay, I need to get some sunscreen. I told my dad to buy me some sunscreen. And I told him to get me 15 SPF because, you know, that's pretty low. I'm an allergic person. I get allergic to a lot of things. So I'm like, let me just stick with the lowest one or whatever, right? So he went and bought me 70 SPF. I <laughs> went ahead and I put that on my face. And I broke out. I broke out everywhere. Like, it was terrible. And I still had to go to school. The struggle was real. <laughs> But yeah, I'm allergic to SPF, so I can't use SPF um, from products that are just, you know, like made for like sunscreen. It says sunscreen on it. So I use shea butter. Shea butter is a natural alternative and it has SPF in it. It's not as high as it would be if you were to get it out of, um, you know, something that specifically says sunscreen on it. But it does have SPF properties in it. So yeah, that's just an alternative that works for me. <laughs> Number eight, be sure to clean your pillowcases. A lot of people forget this like a lot of dirt can accumulate on your pillowcases so make sure that you every time that you go to wash clothes I don't know you wash clothes like every week or whatever take your pillowcase off and throw it in there so you can have a fresh pillowcase because that really will clog your pores and it will cause you to break out so just make sure that you're cognizant of that so, number nine is to be sure that you are keeping your hands off of your face I personally have this problem. I'm always touching my face. I don't know why. <laughs> it's just a habit. I'm always touching my face, but just to make sure, making sure that I keep my hands off my face really helps because you have dirt. You're touching everything. You're touching doorknobs. People sneeze in their hand and they're touching this doorknob and you're then putting it on your face. Let's think about this. <laughs> you know, so like just keep your hands off your face. Make sure that you're washing your, your hands often. Another part of tip nine is to not pick at pimples. Just let it do what it do, y'all. Leave it alone and let it do what it do. Last but not least, number 10. Be sure to exfoliate your skin at least twice a week. You need to get the dead cells out of your skin and it just like makes your skin a lot more smooth and it just feels good, you know? So, um, Go, you can go look at my skincare routine and see what I use to exfoliate um, and what products I use in general. You know, I'm plugging it. I keep plugging it, y'all. <laughs> All right, so these are the 10 tips that I have for you guys, and I hope that you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any other tips that I didn't mention that really helps you to have clear skin, to have smooth skin, glowing skin, you know? <laughs> So definitely comment down below and let me know. Also be sure to like this video so I know that you want to see more like it. And be sure to subscribe so you can be notified when I post new videos. Also be sure to click the bell so that it can notify you when I post another video. Alright, thanks for watching fam. I really appreciate it. Bye y'all. Just
Let's get it. 